Chippy my name's Corey and my tea of choice tonight is a risol and I got fish and chips and curry sauce. I'm Charlie Ann and I've got grey bear, a savvy, a large shoshi and batter and a broken risol wall spinning. Hi, I'm Becky Jones and I've got a risol, some mushy peas, a battered sausage, a potato fritter and some chips and curry on top. I did try a <laughs> this is the equivalent of being a crackhead and only having friends that are also crackheads so that way you can communicate about how much crack you love to eat by the way is this just a random pizza box just chilling at the top over here i wonder how long it's been there these people are only participating in the hobby of eating food just consistently as well all the time all they do all day is eat and it would be great if becky and other people could find hobbies that don't require them to put food in their mouth consistently maybe other hobbies, such as like expelling words out of their mouth in a very productive way, talking about things that really matter. Like, what is your favorite flavor of Hawaiian punch? Like, you know, do you like do you like the 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 the, the Hawaiian tropical punch, or do you like the regular punch? Right? They're, those are cool questions to ask. Uh, I don't know. Who's your favorite Star Wars character? Do you like using ceramic plates, or do you like using the other kind, like the you know the plastic ones? Which ones do you like to use? Right? Instead. You just sit here and watch people eat food all day long, consistently for years and years and years and years. And TikTok is the best place for it because we actively will watch it. A lot of people don't seem to care about the content they consume on TikTok for some reason. And also it occurred to me that a lot of younger people all watch TikTok, which I was, I mean, I was aware of it to a certain degree, but I thought that everybody was watching YouTube as well. Like I've talked to people that are below the age of, I would say 22. And I always ask like, hey, what are you like, where are you watching stuff? And they go, uh, you know, TikTok. I'm like, okay, what else? Just TikTok, what are you talking about? That's it, that's all I watch. Maybe Instagram Reels. TikTok and Instagram Reels? Why aren't you on YouTube? Isn't YouTube like the definitive place where you can watch literally everything across the board? And it occurred to me, the reason why these people are watching this type of content is because it's only like a minute or like a minute and a half. So then they can just scroll on to the next video. Like nobody's invested anymore. Nobody's invested. Nobody takes the time to like have, have, have people that they like, that they watch videos for like multiple hours upon hours upon, upon hours. It's not like that anymore. Like people just wanna watch like one or two videos and then move on to the next thing because their brains are consistently always being hyped up for the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. Like there's no consistency anymore. And that's really sad. But like I said earlier, um, it's like a crackhead being consistently addicted to crack and then always having friends that are also addicted to crack. So they're just like consistently yes, yes queening you about how terrible your diet is, but they don't think it's bad because they're doing it too. <laughs> I did try a saveloy, wasn't that fussed on it, but I'm excited to talk in. My name's Leah and I've got two saveloys because Becky didn't like air ones. Saveloys, I'm guessing, are sausages? BBC sausages that look like somebody already bit the top off of them? I'm not surprised, dude. It's fine, dude. If Becky doesn't like that stuff. It's 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 better than not. It's better than eating it, I guess. Thanks for that. It's alright. And cheesy as fuck too, man. How do you even eat this stuff? It's just cheesy potatoes. Is that not wet in your mouth? Like, do you have to use a fork or do you use your hands? I've got a sabalo, cheesy chips, and I've got a curry sauce. Stunning. <laughs> so My favorite thing from the tea was. I love that he. I love that he has burgers on his, on his little. What is a snuggie? like bathrobe, whatever this is. I love that he's wearing that. Fish. My favorite thing from my day was the result. <laughs> I absolutely loved it. My favorite was the oi oi savaloi. Why do we care? It's almost kind of like nothing really matters. It's like a crack at like literally going, my favorite crack is the kind that doesn't kill me. Like, I guess, bro, like I'm happy that you enjoyed your food, but like you guys eat out so consistently. I don't even know how you have taste buds anymore. How do you register all the food that you eat? Isn't it? If you're eating out as consistently as these people are, right? I feel like it kind of takes away from the novelty of eating out because if you're eating out like once a week or once every every two weeks, then it's like a grandiose occasion. It's like something you don't usually do. So you can really taste the morsels of food, the amoebas on the food or whatever it is. Um, maybe the seasoning powder that the Indonesian man put upon the food or the Mexican guy, whoever cooked it. I don't know if you guys have Mexican guys in the UK. I presume you don't. But whoever cooked it, the Vietnamese dude, right? Whoever cooked your food, you're tasting the sweet morsels of sensation and seasoning from that man's hands upon your 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 food. But if you're eating this shit every single day, does it really matter? It's kind of like 
like, normal for you at that point. This is a regular meal at that point. Why in a day? Today we've been skinny legends. We've only had two meals. Becky's down from Liverpool and she's- Two of the biggest meals in the entire existence of having meals. Good Lord, dude. Look at the portion sizes of these things, dude. Everybody nowadays is so obsessed with cheese pulls, man. I, I, I think there's some kind of weird kink to this. Like how many dudes out there got foreskin that grow the Gouda under their penises and like get sexual satisfaction when their partner like pulls that apart. I feel like that has something to do with it. It has to, right? Like, I, I don't know why so many people care so heavily about the cheese pull. It's like, it's, it, I understand that it's like, it tells people that it's fresh or it's like within, it, it's within date or whatever, but simultaneously, like, you're just taking cheese and just pulling it. It makes it harder to eat because now you're pulling it across and most of the time it like slops down onto the table or like you have to take your hands and try to like pull it apart because it's so much cheese and so malleable that it can't fit in your mouth properly. I just don't understand why so many people love it. Um, I, I just will never understand personally. It's, it's not something I really like. I like cheese. I really do like cheese. Fermented cow titty milk is like my favorite, but... The pulling of the cheese, not so much. Today we've been skinny legend. I think it's like a novelty, bro. And to sit there and say you're a skinny legend. I know that Corey, oh my god, guys, I've, I'm a skinny legend once again. I've done it. I've ate too much food. It's my favorite thing to do. I've only ate two times today and I've got a row We've only had two meals. Yeah, that they, these Becky's two meals are fucking ginormous, though. Down from Liverpool, and she's staying in Barry with us for the weekend. So yeah, the like it, this, it just it just seems ridiculous. You, you're not gonna be able to properly eat this. Like, can you imagine literally seeing somebody at their table doing this? I mean, with the exception of maybe like I don't know, like a five year old child that just blew their nose and wants to seem like it's cool, so they take their nostril after they blew their nose, and it's like you know what I'm talking about. I did that when I was a kid, um, but being an adult doing this shit just seems <laughs> it's just disgusting in my opinion bro but go off queen first place we've taken her is our favorite restaurant ever it's why why is it when you guys meet up with becky your first thing to do is to go to eat i mean i get it like you guys all prioritize eating food that's like your thing on tiktok and stuff like that which it's gotta suck bro can you imagine literally it's 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 literally this okay harrison ford who is uh, one of the main actors in star wars who plays as han solo right he uh He's gone on record multiple times, and he said that he hates it because he's played in so many amazing, beautiful, awesome movies, right? So many great movies throughout his life. And every single time he does an interview, anytime anybody sees him, anytime anybody asks him a question, it's always the same question. It's always, can you tell us about Han Solo? Can you tell us about your time in Star Wars? Can you tell us about George Lucas? Can you tell us about Luke Skywalker? And it's got to be terrible because, like, this one role in your life, which defines your entire career, even though it's just one or two or three movies, or maybe at this point, I think it's like six, seven. Um, it doesn't matter because he's done so many other movies, but like all anybody can focus on is that one movie, right? And you hate it so much. He hates that people keep going to this. And I've had this, I've said this before. It'd be the equivalent of if you were a guy and you had the biggest dick in the entire world. Like your shit was a straight, holy swinger. Like anytime you walked, all you heard was And you solved cancer. You were the guy. You were the individual that had the grand formula. And you put it together and you sugar and spiced and everything nice. And you came up with the, the solution to solve cancer. And then you're sitting there on somebody's podcast. And you're going, yeah, it took me many years. I had to go through trial and tribulations for this. Many, many, many days, many months, many nights. I, I spent slaving away at this formula to try to perfect it to ensure that people in this world can be rid of cancer. And the guy goes, oh, man. Wow, that's such a beautiful story. I just can't believe that. But how big is your dick, though? Like, when you, if you were to describe your meat in like 15 words, um, what word? Can I see it? Can I see it right now? Can you pull it out onto the table? Like, can I just smell it? I just want to smell it through your pants. I just want to see what the aroma is all about. Cause I've heard a lot of stories about how big it is, and I need to see. It's like that, dude. Like, you could be known for anything, but it doesn't matter because this one thing is gonna like, it, it's gonna shape your entire life. And I think Becky's got more to offer. I really do. And it's just sad. Whenever I see Becky going on these these giant spending sprees of eating copious amounts of food, and especially with other people that are also in the same caliber as her, they're just spending all day, every day, eating food because that's what they do for a living. It's really fucking, it's really sad, right? Because business and pleasure. Pull fat hippos and it's in Cardiff. They do. It's gotta be like being a prostitute, but it's like you're just so addicted to you're just like so addicted to sex. You're like, dude, like, yeah, you want it, right? You know, you want this sex, right? And the guy goes like. Ah, I mean, I don't know. I'm not really. I mean, I'm not really into it right now. Like, I'll pay you. I'll pay you. I'm. I, 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 whatever you need me to do, I'll slop that shit up right now. Whatever it is, I don't care. I'll give you money. Like, you're so devoted to your job that like 
you're the worst prostitute. In a way, you're the best prostitute, though, because you're paying them. It's like a reverse prostitute. The best hash browns, the cheesiest cheese. I, I just, I hate it, dude. I don't know why we care so much about this cheese bullshit. Balls. Cheesy. And the burgers. Yeah, dude. This burger looks like the burger from the health inspector. You ever watch SpongeBob when they thought the health inspector was showing up and then they, they like, Mr. Krabs had the toenail in the jars and they made a burger? It's like that. And you're a proper juicy and Look, eh, I don't know why we fall for novelty things like this. Like, it's just the cool factor of eating a burger that's green. I don't know. I fell for it too back in the day when they did the Burger King black burgers. I went to Burger King because, you know, support. And I ate the black burger, dude. And it was the same. It was absolutely the same. Nothing different at all. But I fell for it. I fell for it. It was like a whole $2 more. What can I do? I don't know. I'm a fucking plebeian for capitalism. Me and Becky went for the Beetlejuice burger. It's their Halloween special. And Leo went for Dude, you're eating that burger with a fork and knife? Why? Isn't the burger all right? A lot of places do moisturize the buns for some reason. And they'll be really, really wet. Like you pick them up and there's like grease on your fingers. So I can kind of understand it on that front. But if I'm going to a place, can you make my burger dry? Like the outside bun? Can that be dry, bro? The entire purpose of the bun is to be the barrier in between you and the food. So the peanut butter jelly burger. The food was 10 out of 10 and it's filled us up for the day. After Fat Hippo, we took Becky straight to the escape room in Cardiff. We went for the hardest course. It doesn't even look that good, actually. It looks small, actually. Now now that I'm looking at it in somebody else's hands, it doesn't look like it's... How much was this... How much did this cost? But we've all got big juice. Yeah, any, anything more than... I'm gonna say five bills. Anything more than five bills? That's too much, too much, too Brains. much. So we managed to escape the room with three minutes to spare. Obviously, Becky can't leave Cardiff without Welsh cakes. She's never had a Welsh cake of course, before. Of course. Tomorrow, we're going to make sure she tries a corned beef pasty, Savaloy and a Rissol from a chippy. And we obviously got to take her to our local deli. Let us know in the comments where else we should take her after Cardiff. Rather Probably than take her to the gym. I don't know. Take her walking, bro. Like, anything would be better than taking her to food places, bro. Like, you guys got to calm the fuck down. It's all right to get her some food, but damn, man. Could we, could we take a day or two just going inside, like, eating some food inside? I'm not going to lie, bro. When I saw this right here, I literally thought that was a dildo. I'm not, I don't know why. I, I, Im I immediately saw this shape right here, and I was like, wow, that's a really weird-looking dildo. But it's not. It's a balloon animal, but it's like a statue balloon animal. It's pretty cool. I'll give it that. But it does look like a dildo. Like, if somebody, if I went over to somebody's house, and I saw that on their counter, I would ask them, like, hey, how many times have you put that, like, top part in your ass? Like, how many times have you put, like, the legs in your ass? Right? Because, like, it's, it's obvious. Like, you buy something like this, and, like, even though you put it up as, like, a statue or something like that, you, you are thinking about putting it in your ass, right? I mean, that's the first thing I thought. Not my ass, though. The chilled one. The new Mario Party jamboree is just... Yeah, that's kind of crazy, bro. That, that's that's kind of crazy, dude. What are, we're going a little bit too far tonight. If you're talking about some yesterday we only ate twice a day, and then the next day you do something like this, like, what do we... I feel like we have different priorities in life, personally speaking. I think... For me, I'm trying to get to level 100 on the Fortnite Battle Pass. Maybe I'm trying to shoot some hoop. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm, you know, maybe I'm trying to go down to McDonald's to get a, a coffee or whatever. Do my work. For these people, though, uh, what? how many boxes of pizza is this, bro? This is three boxes. Easy. How many people are in here? Four people? Somebody's sharing a box. Somebody's got to be sharing a box, at least, unless whatever this is. I think these are brownies. God damn. How many mozzarellas did you get? Are these all mozzarellas? Oh, my God. You guys love cheese too much. Good lord. Oh. Being released, so we spend the evening playing. So Corey got a whole pizza to himself. God damn, Corey. What are you doing, bro? You fisting that shit in your throat? Good lord. You know when they, uh, you know when they make ground beef? You like put the the beef in like it's the mincer and you get that stick and you push it in, right? I feel like that's what Corey's doing right now with his mouth. And he gotta feed his mouth the pure slop that is Domino's. And don't get me wrong, I always fuck with the Minos. It's all right, I haven't had it in a long time, but I know it's good. It's just like, I personally think that if you go into a particular ind uh, individual place and they travel into a place, why didn't you get something a little bit, you know, cultural, something that's uh, local, something that's going to be evident of the where you are instead of the Minos, bro? You're getting the Minos way too often, dude. It's just some slop-ass pizza. That's all it is, man. Hey, and, uh, we have the leaning tower. Oh, damn. Becky got a whole box to herself. Not surprised. Not surprised, dude. Make a lot of sense. He's, uh, oh, look, my family member right back here. Literally ordered everything from Domino's. But we have to uh, Leah, Leah, with her squinny, skinny, skinny queen we self. Have the tower obviously, of we literally super ordered skinny. Everything from Gotta get the the boneless. Sorry, the wings are the the real appetizer there. Look at that, dude. Whew. Leah going hard on that shit, dude. But I will I will commend Leah 
for at least trying, at least trying to be a skinny legend. And, you know, Leah and Corey have been walking. I mean, granted, they haven't been walking recently because they've been on the run. No, no pun intended. They've been on the run with Becky. Uh, it seems like speed running who can eat the most shit in the UK. And they had, though, previously, um, which is really, you know what? I'm going to call this out. Somebody in the last video I did on Corey's World was in the comment section saying, hey, how come you never talk about how come you didn't show off the video of Corey? Uh, how come you didn't show off the video of Corey, you know, running or doing any of his exercises? First of all, man, the title of the video is what I eat in a day. You know, why would I show off somebody walking if it's a what I eat in a day? You know what I'm saying? Dude, that'd be like watching the Terminator and then seeing Inspector Gadget as the main guy. Like, that's obviously not something you, you, you want to see. It's not exactly the same thing. So there's that. And then also, I did talk about it. I always preference it. I always, I always give credit to um, Corey and Leah. And even Becky Jones when they work out. But I always gotta, I always gotta put, keep it a buck with you. If you're only working out once a week and you're over here body slamming four, five, six thousand calories a day with some minos, that whole box alone gotta be how much calories? I don't fucking know. Even if you did 400 per slice, right? 400 per slice, you're looking at what? 1600 calories for the whole box? Dude, that's some incredible ass shit right there. 1600 calories for the entire box of pizza. And they got the garlic bread. And you know they got the sauces on the side, which add the fuck up. And they also drink a soda. These people are literally probably body slamming. No, I'm not even joking with you. 2500 calories. No joke. And Leah, at least she's eating less, but still kind of <gasps> really bad. Dominoes. But we have to be out Damn, she fucking. No way, bro. She literally put the, the chicken bone in her mouth vertically. That's crazy. We had the leaning tower of Pisa. We literally ordered everything from Domino. Dude, you know how confident you got to be in your mouth skills to have the bone go in your mouth vertically like that? Because that means if you, if you suck, you're going to, your intention with that is to suck it clean off the bone, bro. Oh my God. Damn, Corey. That's kind of girl you got. GG on that. That's that's beautiful, man. That's 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 pure amazingness. So we had we had one meal at this point. And to all the haters that keep commenting, don't hey, okay. Look, the garlic bread. I know a lot of people do like garlic bread, but if your garlic bread looks like that, can we just for one second? This is pizza, right? This is not garlic bread. I'm sick of people in the UK calling this shit garlic bread. I think there is actually sauce on this. I've seen Becky literally sitting here eating cheesy bread and going, oh my god, guys. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I love garlic bread. It's my favorite. And it's pizza. It's pizza. It's just a medium pizza. You're eating a medium pizza. It doesn't got sauce on it. Anything that keep everything that has to do with vegetables away from my shit, basically. This is pizza. Don't stop you making us rich. Bye bye, driver. And the cookies. I forgot about the cookies. My bad, dude. The cookies alone gotta be added like 300 per, right? Guys, I'm in Greg's with Becky. And oh, yeah? Corey. Corey, you out here with Becky? No problem at all. Friends can hang out. There's no. I think men and women can hang out. I do think that. I think Becky and Corey could be friends. No joke, 100%. But uh, a lot of people have been, you know, asking some questions. Like, hey, why is Corey hanging out with Becky so alone time? You know, what are they doing when they're not eating? When they're not recording? What are they doing with each other's mouths? Who knows? I don't presume that Corey is the individual in question that would be the type to cheat. I don't think so. I don't think. I think Corey's contempt in his relationship. I think he loves Leah. And I don't think he would cheat, but it's always something funny to think about. And tell him what we got. Corn, beef, pasta, which... You gotta scream that shit, dude, for everybody in fucking Greg's to hear that, dude? Come on. I have never had before. She's never had a corn, beef, pasta, so best believe I brought her here. So yeah. we'll do a taste test together. Obviously, right. I've had... Well, you don't need to do the taste test. You already have that shit in your mouth, like, all day. <laughs> Cheers, back. Cheers. Eat the paper too, get some fiber. Mm. I love when you get the mmm, and it, it, it's your tongue has not even had the time to register it yet. It's just like, it's just the, the what is it called? The, the gazebo effect or whatever it's called. Like you just know, you just know what it could taste like. Like when you're about to eat snake skin or when you're caught in the desert or the Alps or something like that and you're over here sucking on the corpse of like a, a lynx cat. Um, just think about that corned beef pasty, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you're sitting there and you're gazing upon a dead gazelle that has been eaten three days ago by a fucking mountain lion, right? Think about that corned beef pasty when you're, like, ripping off that fermented leg and just, like, biting into it. That's what you gotta think about, the corned beef pasty. Oh my god, it's so good. That is amazing. That is amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's always oh my god, dude. Uh, look, what do you want, bro? 
I know who Becky is. I've always heard the, oh my God. You love that. I love that. Break it up, Sam. It's a 10. Don't say 10. Come on, that's disrespectful. That's a 10. Turn out with 10. That's crazy. This is what the middle looks like. It's like corned beef mash, but they don't do it in England, so that's why Becky haven't had one before. I expected it to be, like, really what? watery. I don't know why. Yeah. I thought it was going to be watery, too, to be honest, dude. Is that just hash? Is that all it is? Just corned beef? Is this hash? Oh, my gosh. It's amazing, guys. I, I fuck with hash. When I was growing up, dude, I had to eat hash all the time because it was cheap and you can buy it all anywhere. So I, I fuck with it. It's not too bad. I haven't had it since I was like eight or nine, dude. Because once you realize what the fuck it is, you're not going to eat things like that. I don't even, you know, sometimes I used to think I was really poor when I was a kid. I just think people made bad decisions when it comes to dietary stuff. We'll have to take her to Iceland so she can um, buy frozen ones and stick them in the air fryer. Yeah. Can you imagine traveling to another country just to buy just to buy corned beef pasties? Sorry, pastas. I don't know, dude. What the fuck ever, dude? 100%. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, dude. I love it. Thank you, Corey. Yes. I love it. Thank you, Corey. Oh, my God. It's so good. Yes. Love you all. Corned beefy. That's right, guys. I've took Becky Jones to Greg's, and we're gonna get a corned beef pasty. It's so great. Don't ask what me and Becky are doing out here by ourselves. Leah approves. <laughs> Hi, everyone, and welcome to Corey's Why Eat in a Day. So, first of all, we all went for breakfast at Atlantic Just Cat. the beans in the middle of the table, bro. You guys in the UK got some issues, dude. I gotta keep it a bug, bro. I look down upon you anytime I see beans, dude. It can't be that good, man. I got beans. We got beans over here in the United States. They're nothing to, they're nothing to shake a stick at, dude. They're all right. They're okay. I would eat them if I had nothing else to eat. If I was looking up and I opened up my freezer, right? Open up my freezer, look down there, disappointed, nothing in there. I had no milk left. Uh, and I saw some beans up the shelf. I'm like, ah. I mean, I'll put it in my mouth. I'll put it in my mouth. Like, i put... <laughs> I've put worse things in my mouth. Beans is whatever at this point. I will, I will suck them dry. But I just don't personally think beans are worth it. To, if I'm being honest with you. I know a lot of people live and die by the bean. Not me, bro. And I live in bean town. Corey obviously got a cheeseburger because he loves that cheeseburger. Dry as fuck, dude. Damn, that burger's big as hell, though. God damn, that shit look like it's bigger than Becky's head. Oh, got some chips as well. I got just a plain burger with some smart ketchup. Dry as fuck. He didn't have any. Ooh, damn. Fucking Foodie Beauty's Barracucci right here, dude. You remember when Foodie Beauty said that she had the bread factory growing down there, dude? Hold up now. He got it mayo. Ooh, hubba, absolutely... hubba, dude. <laughs> Maybe I should call her. He got it, but look at Charlie's extra cheesy burger. Oh. She definitely got a few pulls out of that after she's not pulling me anymore after that. Huh? Excuse me, Becky? What the fuck you saying? Extra cheesy burger. She definitely got a few pulls out of that after she's not pulling me anymore after that date. Then huh? Becky going on a date with Sherry Ann? Huh. I mean, Sherry Ann is lesbian. She has told us. Is Becky lesbian? Is this her way of coming out? And here's Leah with hers. Becky always... You know what? Look. Leah, good for you, Leah. Good for you, bro. Good for you, bro. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I fuck with the, I fuck with the, the onions. I fuck with the tomatoes. I fuck with the lettuce. And you know what? That potato you got right there, dude. That baked potato with the cheese on top. I fuck with it. You good on that, dude. You better than everybody here. Good for you. I sat away from Leah because I'm not the biggest fan of fish. Whoa, fishy oh, fishy, Leah. This fish? I don't know how. Ooh, I... damn. Because she, she's saying her. Hold up, now. Was there fish on that potato? Am I wrong? Yo, hold up. Is Becky just shading people right now? Is she saying Leah got that... Mm, she's saying Becky got that fishiness? Huh? The barracucci? Nah, that's, that can't be what Becky's saying, dude. Becky's not a mean girl like that. Becky would never, bro. Never would she say that, right? Am I wrong? I sat away from Leah because I'm not the biggest fan of fish. Whoa, fishy Leah. It had to have been some fish in that, right? I refuse to believe that Becky was saying her shit be stench. Like, <laughs> that shit would be crazy as fuck if that's what she was saying, dude. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about Corey dipping his burger in the beans. He's True. A good bean flicker. Then we went... All right. Oh, maybe she was talking about that. Maybe, maybe she was. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Corey dipping his burger in the beans. He's a good bean flicker. What <laughs> beans was he dipping into, though, Becky? Huh? 
you so quick to talk about what you don't like talk about what you do like we went to barry island after going into the arcade we went to zio's look at all these different flavors corey's not fussed on waffle cones so we got a pot of caramac ice cream it looked so creamy corey loves to share and he gave some to baby bell as well and then, of course, they had to take me to get some donuts because apparently these Barry Island ones are the nicest ever. And then we went and got a corned beef pasta. Why didn't you show up the donuts that you ate? I'm trying to see what I'm trying to see what, how, how far you could stick your tongue in the middle. Day, I've never had one of these before, and Corey is a legend because they are so good. Then it was. Oh my God! What is that? Oh, that bag is filled the fuck up. Good night. I'm obsessed with these boxes. Little things in life, guys. Corey got fish and chips. I didn't mind sitting next to him, though, with that fish smell. I don't know, man. You know what? You know what, dude? I'm starting to think some other things. You remember when I said earlier that Corey doesn't really fuck with Becky like that because I think he's a man of principle and he would never cheat? Maybe they're not cheating. Maybe it's an arrangement. Maybe it's like one of those animes. You ever watch those old animes? Uh, I remember when I was like 14 years old, I used to think this is how it was. I remember I was watching this one anime and it was an anime boy, obviously, and it was the big titty fucking, you know, girlfriend. And she was like, oh, I think Sarah, I think Sarah, she's a virgin and she's never had sex before. And then he goes, huh, huh? What? How do you know that? How do you know that about Sarah? What? You want me to do what? You want me to go over to Sarah's house after this and have sex with her? But babe, I love you. I would never do that. Come on, you can do it. It's not a it's not a problem. Like she deserves some hot anime dick too. I bet you know maybe it's like that. Who knows? I don't like it now, dude. Maybe they feel bad. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows at this point? I don't know, bro. But you know, it's not my, it's, it's up to them. If they want to do that, no shame at all. Corey had a result, and I'm so glad that I got introduced to these because they are amazing. He has got a cheesy chips and gravy. Cheesy. And we all just gobbled this down. Whoa. We then played some games on the Switch. And of course, with us not consuming that oh. much this day, we had some snacks. You didn't consume that much. You literally body slammed all day. Didn't you have those, you had the corned beef pasties. You had that burger, you, bro. I'm more concerned about this this Becky Jones and Corey thing going on, bro. Leave it down below. What do you guys think is going on between them? I need to know what the drama is. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video today. Uh, oops, uh, that did not work. I wanted to do that. No. <clears throat> okay, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. And if you did, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in sweat because it's nice today. It's really very lubricated out. Uh, the sun is out. The sun is glazing my skin right now in the same way that I'm trying to be glazing you because you're looking real good today. You're looking toasty. You're looking spicy. You're looking like somebody gave you a nice shoulder rub. You look relaxed and i like that about you i like that you're nice and relaxed you're feeling good today i like that star patch you're wearing on your face don't act like it's not it might be a little bit weird but you look good with it represent it okay you look fantastic beautiful and glazed up consistently but anyway guys if you want to check out my social media it'll be linked down below in the description enjoy the rest of your day guys peace